Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing some nail extensions on tips with solid builder gel. So no big surprises today, we'll be starting off with prep. As usual, to try and expose as much as the nail plate, we'll push the cuticles back gently first. Then I'm going to go in with the cuticle bit and remove some dead skin. When I'm in forward mode, I'll work from right to centre, then I'll put it in reverse and then work from left to centre. If you want your nails to stick on, you really have to do a good prep. But this step is optional. Then I'm going to go in with a medium sanding band at a low speed. Now this is just to matte the surface. Use lint-free wipe with some alcohol or cleaner on it and get rid of all the dust. Now today we are going to be using some regular tips from Una Jella. quite like these. These are from Amazon. I'll link everything below. Now it's important that they fit and they have to fit from sidewall to sidewall. I'm just going to mat them down slightly so that they're a little bit rough on the inside where I'm going to apply the uh, solid builder. But of course you can always attach them with regular tip glue if you want to or these nail tip glues. It doesn't matter. That's, that's a personal preference. I'm going to put a tiny little bit of the solid glue and then before I hold them down. Now if you're lucky, like I was today, and it holds in place, you can always just grab one of these little handheld LEDs or sneak it into the lamp if you can manage to do that. I did some full cover nail tips this way and they stayed on for almost four weeks before I actually took them off. So these do hold down much better than using regular glue and then you don't have to have all of the ear pockets and the lifting and all that trouble. So if you've only tried regular nail glue, I would try to attach my tips with gel just to see how that works out for you. So I flash cure them all individually first and then I give them all a full cure in the lamp when I've got them all on. Just make sure you don't bump anything or knock them off. When that's done, I'm going to blend the tip in. So this today I'm just going to use a regular file. I'm going to mat the surface of the tip, blend in the side walls and then I'm going to get rid of that little tiny ledge on top of the nail. I will be using, as usual, a thin coat primer today, only on the natural nail plate, not necessarily on the tip. Then I'm going to go in with a coat of base on the whole nail and I'm going to give that a full cure before I do anything else. I will be extending the nail bed with Born Pretty's non-stick hand gel that I like quite a lot. This is baby pink. So I'm going to apply an amount first. Don't do it too thick though, even though you can. It's not going to run or move anywhere and you don't need any solution to move it around. This is a strong product, so despite it being a long nail, you don't want to put it on really, really thick. I haven't had any problems with it not curing, but it's better to do it in several steps and layers and cure it properly in between than chancing it. You can either use a silicone spatula, or you can have gloves on and pull it out, or you can use a metal spatula like I'm doing here today to distribute the products evenly. You don't have to be too violent, but just pull it out firmly and stretch it, and then pat it down. I'm going to keep a ledge in between there so that I can put a file down just to sharpen it up. And when that's done, give it a full cure. Just make sure that when you do the cuticle area that you don't push it into the cuticles or onto the skin. This stuff does not move at all, so it shouldn't be a problem. Sometimes I'll even use the spatula as a, like a kind of a barrier that I don't push the product all the way up, but I actually put the spatula just in front of the product to stop. And this is so, so, so easy to work with. It's absolutely fantastic. I prefer this to poly gel and the reason I do is because I sometimes feel that poly gel can run if it gets hot. I'm not saying all of them do, but some can. And also I feel that around the cuticle area sometimes with poly gel, if you use if you use a bit too much slip solution, it can cause a bit of lip. And this hasn't been an issue with the solid gel, so this is super, super easy. So on the middle and the index, I am going to extend the nail bed. Also just using a small amount that I'm pulling down. You'll often see me working quite a bit on the sides and holding my spatula straight instead of kind of patting it flat down. The reason I do that is to keep an arch. If you just sort of flatten the product, you're not going to get an arch or, or a nice appearance. It's much easier to work from the sides so that you keep a kind of a nice height on the top and the middle of the nail where you want it. And I've just cured these in between. I'm doing these in parts today, so I'm just going to put a little bit on the index finger that I'm going to pat out, and I'm going to do that straight across because I'm going to kind of do stripes there. And on my pinky, I am going to put down some product only on half of the nail vertically. 
and pull that down because we're going to split that with some glitter. When you've done all five nails, give them a wipe off with some alcohol so that you can go in and fold the ledge. So I'm going to go in with my 100 over 180 grit file again and just kind of crisp these lines off a little bit. There's not much work that needs doing because if you had had enough product and that you've actually made a sharp enough ledge, this should be real quick. Should I don't even really know if it was necessary, but I just did it out of habit. Now, if you get filing dust and it sticks down hard and you have to remove it, you can apply a bit more base coat if needed, if you wipe it very dry. Probably shouldn't though. Like I said, I do lots of things out of habit, but there are things that are optional and it probably could have been done a little bit quicker, but I'm a little bit fussy as well. I hate breakdowns, so I try to prevent them. This is one of Born Pretty's cat eye gels. I haven't used it as a cat eye today. I've just put down some random slices of colour and I've got a liner where I've just pulled some of that glitter silver paint through it before it was cured. Just like a random squiggle just to give it a little bit of colour. Then I'm going to go in with some base again that I'm not curing so that I can put some glitter and some holographic pieces down and kind of get that ready for encapsulation because it needs something to stick onto. And today I am using a blue, I've got a mauve and I have just got like some loose glitter that I'm going to kind of mix up. I've done a few more videos with this. I've got another one coming up soon where I've used dual forms instead. So if you like these kind of videos, you can like and subscribe, please, and hit the bell so you don't miss it. But I will be working a lot with this in the future because I do really, really enjoy the product. And it is a lot more versatile than I thought at first it would be. I'm only putting a little bit of clear down on where there's glitter. Just kind of push that onto the cured glitter and base and pull it out, almost like buttering a slice of bread, really. And make sure that you keep that sharp ledge on the side there as well. Put a bit match down when I did the index finger. So all I've done is just taken my spatula and kind of sliced a little bit off and I've put it on the neighbor finger. But again, you can see on the index, I've just done that kind of straight line across and again these nails have all been cured in between same with the other fingers as well when you get it on what you can do is you can just kind of what shall I say push it up to the sides of where the extended nail bed is get that nice and smooth and even and on the middle finger I've kind of done a bit of a cut off at the edge where I haven't pulled the clear all the way down just because I'm going to be putting some white on the tip of that one. If you do have any excess that's got any glitter or anything in it get a dark separate jar and put it in. I don't like putting clear back into the pot if it's been used or something because if it does pick up any particles you kind of contaminated the whole jar which is a bit annoying. So it's better putting on a little bit at a time than throwing on too much at once. Now I gave them all a full cure before I moved on because I am going to be applying some milky white. And as you can see, again, I am just putting it in where there's place. And this is why I said you needed that little ledge because you need something to stop it from kind of sliding over. If you should get a little bit come over on the glitter, it's not a big deal because you can file it off again when you cure it. But it's always easier to be a little bit careful when you apply it. Filing is boring. And again, you can see I'm keeping my spatula always at an angle or trying to keep it fairly straight. I'm not just kind of pulling it flat on top of the nail all the time already my nails have got a fairly decent shape. From the index I've just put down a, another kind of stripe of pink first. I'm doing this the exact same way as I did the first time. And this, this time I didn't bother to file them and it wasn't necessary either so that was actually quite handy. Middle finger just did that like white little foxtail tip thing on it. 
then I've come back down on the index and I've put down some glitter on the tip as you can see I've just done like stripes on that I thought that was kind of cute and this is actually really really easy to do even for a beginner I went straight in and encapsulated the glitter on this one too all I did was put a little bit of clear on the tip and I'm just going to kind of push it down and over I should have been wearing gloves yes I know I'm touching the product with my left thumb that's not good contact with uncured gel can give you allergy on the skin so I, was, uh, <laughs> I should have been more careful before I started encapsulating I cured them all there was a little bit of sticky left so I cleaned that off with some alcohol and I've just buffed over the tips in case that I've got any white on the glitter or whatever just gone over the nails real real quick now I have put down a bit more product on all of them I'm not going to show you all, all of them because it would be a very very long video and you get the idea when I show you the fun but as you can see here again I started not with the product in the cuticle but fairly close to making sure that I've got enough product over the stress area that's where the nail meets or the tip meets the natural nail and I'm just literally kind of patting and pulling the product down and I've got an apex but I have not got a mountain of an apex that is not necessary and this is a quick, easy way of doing a nail. So I didn't want to file very much, so I've been a little bit extra careful with my application. But I have found, after I've worked with it a bit more, also quicker ways to do this. So it's a work in progress. This was new to me. But for a, for a beginner, I think this is perfect. You've got all the time in the world. There's nothing, there's no ratio to be mixed that you can get wrong or anything. And it's not sticky or nasty doesn't get everywhere and you don't need a lot of equipment either but you do need a lamp for these so when I'm done with that I'm gonna give that a full cure and then I'm gonna repeat the same steps on the other ones where needed then I'll give them a full cure all the way through as well now where I've been a bit careful there wasn't much filing luckily enough so I've just taken out my tapered fine drill bit actually ceramic I'm going to come around the cuticles and just remove any bulk where needed and I don't know if you can see it but I've got the bit quite far out it's not as close as it normally would be and that is because it's a really long nail and if you don't extend the bit a bit it's probably going to be a bit too short and you're going to keep bumping so removing a little bit of the bulk coming down over the sides and make sure that you get a nice smooth blended cuticle And of course, then just to finish it off, I am going to go over with my file and really sort of crisp up everything and come over the surface. It's good to always just finish off the e-filing with a regular file as well because that will really kind of make it top notch. And I'm just going to buff it lightly. And despite being a soak-off product, this isn't the easiest uh, of all products to file actually. So it does take a little bit of work, which is a good thing because it means it's durable. Now make sure when you're done filing that you remove all the dust properly and then we're going to be using some top coat so I am going to go in with a thin coat of top coat starting at the free edge before I start moving up you want it nice and glossy and shiny now I'm not going to be putting any stones or anything like that on today so I'm just going to finish them all off with top coat and cure them and now I'm going to be back to reveal the final result and I am so, so happy with these. I think they came out really, really well. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Please like, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. And until next time, bye.